cuties, it's Courtney here and today as you can tell, things are getting pretty weird. So I have seen tons of hair hacks all across the internet, I've seen them in YouTube videos, on Pinterest, on Buzzfeed, and I watch these videos and people say it works but it's just one of those things where I'm like, I really need to try it out for myself. And I had so much fun doing it so I wanted to share it with you guys and let you know if they're worth the hype or not. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can join the family of Courtney's Cuties. And with that, let's just get into it. I know you guys are dying to see if these work. Hope you guys like it. All right, cuties, so hack number one says you just need your brush and some dryer sheets. Dryer sheets, say what? Yes, it's true. So you just need to stick the dryer sheet on top of your brush so that the bristles all stick through and it is secure. And then you just brush your hair like you normally would and it's supposed to get rid of any static. And I have to say that this hack works and it also made my hair smooth and it smelled pretty amazing too, so I approve. Hack number two, you're going to need a toothbrush, but do not use the toothbrush that you use on your teeth, whatever you do. And then you're gonna need some hairspray. Just spray some of that hairspray onto your toothbrush. Don't choke on it like I did. And apparently you can use this toothbrush as a teasing comb to add more volume to your hair. I don't know about you guys, but I would say it worked. It might have worked a little too well, but once I tamed it down a little, I really liked the effect that it gave me. This hack is approved. Next up, of course I had to have something with chocolate and sugar in my video, you guys know me. And I've seen a lot of dry shampoo recipes that you can make at home, but I kind of wanted to try the hack where you don't use any baking soda or cornstarch and you just use cocoa powder. And I think it blended in really well with my hair, it gave it kind of a matte finish. Smelled like chocolate? I'm down. Next up, you're just gonna need a toilet paper roll. Things are about to get really weird, guys. Just be prepared. So the hack says that you can use a toilet paper roll with damp hair and basically you're using it as a curler. You just need to wrap your hair around and secure it with a bobby pin and then let it dry. But I've also seen this hack on the internet with a banana. So I tried another piece of hair with a banana and just clipped it at the top. Now we're really looking good. And lastly, we're going to try the straw curls hack and we're going to see which curls work the best. So just to speed it up, I blow dried my hair to give it some heat and dry my hair faster. So the toilet paper roll, oh, 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 no, didn't really work. The banana, okay, okay, this looks much better. I like the banana. And the straw, oh gosh. But I have to say it did work. So the banana worked the best for me, and if you ever want a no heat curls hairstyle, then you guys know what to do. For this next hack, I am splitting my hair in half because we are going to compare some DIY hair masks. The first is avocado, so you just need to mash it all up in a bowl. Kinda looks like guacamole, kinda wanna eat it. And then I just got my hair a little bit damp and then added the avocado all over and put it up into a bun so I can wait and let it sit for about 30 minutes. The avocado is supposed to promote hair growth and give you a little bit more moisture. And to the other side, we're going to try eggs. Apparently eggs are supposed to give you a ton of shine and make your hair super soft. So I'm going to put these up in buns and wait for 30 minutes and then shower and we'll see what happens. Okay guys, I definitely didn't listen to the internet and it told me to rinse out my hair with cold water and I didn't and I used hot water and the eggs were cooking in my hair, in the shower, like pieces of scrambled eggs in my hair. It wasn't really a good time, so if you try this at home, use cold water. Just learn from my mistakes. So while I'm blow drying my hair, I'm going to try out another hack, which is blow drying directly away from the roots. And this is supposed to give you more volume. I actually have been using this hack for years. I love it. It always gives me just a little extra height at the roots and makes my hair extra voluminous. This hack is Courtney approved. And now we can compare the avocado to the egg. I would say the avocado was easier because I didn't have pieces of cooked egg all up in there, but they both did give me shine. I couldn't really tell a difference. I love them both. And lastly, I wanted to try the Kool-Aid dip dye hack. So I'm just pouring some Kool-Aid powder into warm water and then dipping my hair in to dye it a certain color. It definitely didn't work. I was kind of bummed. So let me know what you think I should try to make it work better. Let me know of any hair hacks that I might have missed down below in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Yeah. Stella with a kiss, right here on my lips. You know I am right here. 
Show me 